The IEMG Fall League Champion Show rolls on with another football champion here in the city of San Bernardino, the Aquinas Falcons. Aquinas capturing the Ironwood League title again back to back seasons, and it continues an incredible run for head coach Jordan Brusig at his alma mater. Here's the Aquinas Falcons. All right, we've got another league champion here from uh, the local football scene. These guys have been league champions for a while. It's head coach Jordan Brusig and the Aquinas Falcons. And coach, I know you got a couple of your players as well. But I was curious, before I looked it up, I wanted to hear it from you. How many years have you been at Aquinas and how many league titles have you had as the head coach? Uh, we're at, uh, this is year 10. Is it, is it 10? Okay. Is that counting the COVID season? Yeah. Okay, so 10 so years nine. and then and then how many league titles? 7, 7 in a row. You had to think about it a little bit, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think 7 in a row. We lost the first my first year, we lost Notre Dame. That was the year they won CIF 2015. Yeah. 2016, I guess we were co-league champs and then haven't looked back since. Well, Coach, when you took over the program, was that always the goal in mind was to, you know, get Aquinas back on top, whatever that meant, league championship, CIF championship. You guys have been played for a state title before. I mean, what was kind of your expectation when you took over the program? I think, number one, it was just to continue to um, build up this program the way it was taught to me. You know, I feel like I have a huge responsibility um, after, after Josh and, and, and Thini and, and Coach Ibarra, you know, um, you know, none of those guys were technically were alumni. So I felt like, you know, just, I was an alumni with so much pride because of the things that they were able to do for me. Like they, they created that pride for me while I was here. You know, they were coaches here. They were athletic directors here. I coached under them. I played for them. And it was, it was, um, me just making sure that I'm holding up my end of the bargain and, and taking the things that they taught me and trying to do that at a, at, a, at a very high level. I mean, we have tremendous football players and um, you know, I think these guys really do a good job of making us all look good, but it, it's, you know, the, the culture and the foundation of how we do things is just what I was taught while I was here and, and just trying to make sure that I'm upholding my end of the deal. All right, coach, you got a couple of your uh, star players as well. Why don't you introduce them first? Yeah, we got uh, Malachi Jones, quarterback and DB, and JoJo Solis, running back and uh, outside linebacker. Both were junior captains last year and, and uh, just tremendous young men and, and uh, going to lead us into another great season this year. Well, guys, looking back on this this Ironwood League Championship, JoJo, I mean, gosh, we've talked about you for several years now at Aquinas. Um this this season, when you look back on it, this league title, is there anything that you'll remember specifically about this year? Was it a game? Was it a certain play? Um, was it something off the field? What what will you remember about this year? Oh, I'll, I'll, it would be off the field and the connections that we made with the team and how we bonded with each other. And it's just the season ended how we didn't want it to end, but that's why we're coming back next year. Yeah, and next year, I mean, dude, you'll be, you'll be a senior finally. We've been talking about you uh, on my sports okay. shows for years now, but going into your senior season is at the goal again. You know, league championship, deep CIF run, um, all those sorts of things that Coach Brusig talked about. Definitely. We're definitely making a statement this year. That's the and goal for you. Oh, for sure. And, and Malachi, I mean, you know, you might have been kind of new to the scene, but I'm sure when you, as soon as you got in the program, you probably felt like, Okay, I know what the expectation is here at Aquinas, man. It's at a very high level. These guys are in the business of winning championships, whether it's league or CIF. You know, what was kind of your first impression when you, you know, joined the Aquinas program last season? Uh, in terms of my teammates, by far, just that brotherhood that they built. I think within my first month here, I was already felt like I was already part of that brotherhood that they built for years now. But in terms of, like, working out on the field is just different, you know. From the outside looking in, you have no idea what's happening. You know, being a part of this uh, every day, just working. That's we're working and grinding. That's what we uh, strive for every day. And Malachi, again, like I asked JoJo, looking ahead to next season, 
I mean, you got some guys coming back. I mean, uh, you guys are probably set up to have another really good year. Are you excited about what next season might look like for Aquinas and your role as the quarterback? Obviously, you know, a lot's going to hinge on your play as well. So do you, are you excited about next season and why? Uh, yes, sir. I'm very excited. Uh, you no, know, for this being my first season uh, starting, giving that under my belt, you know, I had a couple times I was really inexperienced. I think just coming back next year, now know what to expect on both the regular season and the playoffs. I was just getting ready, just preparing my team well and just getting ready for that state run, state championship or bust. That's what our, that's what our goal is. You know, and Coach, as we do this in the month of February, are you already taking steps to be ready for that first game in August? Um, I mean, yeah, you got to be – you better start preparing early for Oak Hills, I think. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, we're just we're, – we're in the weight room. You know, we've been back in the weight room since we got back from Christmas break, so – um, you know, looking forward to getting ready for spring and uh, um, getting that going. So just excited to watch these guys grow in the weight room, get a little bit stronger. Got a lot of great energy down there. Those guys had a great uh, morning this morning and uh, just uh, fired up for, for spring football for these guys. You know, and Coach, finally um... – you know, I know, obviously, I think, I think it was Malachi who brought it up that, you know, going out in the first round of the playoffs, obviously that, that playoff run was not what you guys were hoping in Division 5 this past season. You know, as the coach, is it something that you just want to hurry and get back on the field and, and you know, uh, kind of erase that memory of like, hey, we're, we're way better than what we showed in that first round game. Like, you know, is it a long off season just kind of thinking about that game or thinking about uh, certain plays in that game that might have, you know, swayed the outcome? I mean, I think some things didn't go in our favor, but, you know, um, I think a lot of this stuff is in God's plan for, for these guys. And, and um, I think there was some, some humility with what happened and, and, you know, things that might have been overlooked. And I think that that's part of God's, God's plan for us. You know, we got to be able to, um, you know, stay humble and stay hungry and eager to, to just find a way to be better every day. And, and maybe we weren't doing that. And uh, so, you know, like you said, you, everybody wants to talk about how great, you know, we've been the last few years and how deep we've gone in the playoffs. And I really think like, man, it's just, that's the past. Um, and, you know, we, we get a little spoiled sometimes with stuff like that. And, and um, for me, it was, uh, it was very humbling. And, and, you know, I mean, that was a great football team that we played at Foothill. And uh, they deserve to beat us for sure. And, and so I'm just – I'm looking forward to finding a way that each day this year to get better and uh, and doing it with these guys. There's no greater job in the world than doing it with these young men and um, the people that are here on this team and on this campus. I mean, it's just – we have a tremendous amount of support and people want us to be great. And so it's our job to go out there and, and represent this, uh, this school, you know, to the best of our ability. So we're going to do that. You know, and and uh, we're gonna set the the school year off right next year, and and um, really really excited about it. All right, finally, coach, uh, what do you do with all these these championships? You must have some hardware somewhere, some trophies. I mean, the the trophy case at Aquinas must be massive, or maybe building a whole room for it. It's in the. It's not in here. It's in the Hall of Champions. <laughs> you know, uh, it's uh, yeah, that stuff is in there and you know it's you get a chance to walk by it when you go into mass or when you go into into the gym you get a chance to see it but you know we got the team photos up and got us finally got a signed jersey from Sione Lolohia so hopefully that guy might be our first NFL guy which would be awesome uh, um, yeah man but uh, that stuff's not in here <laughs> <laughs> Well, Coach, listen, congratulations. I appreciate the time. JoJo, Malachi, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you hopping on for a couple minutes as we celebrate uh, our league champions here in the city of San Bernardino. Um, and, and, Coach, I'm sure I'll see you out there uh, on the practice field soon enough, man. I feel like spring football is probably right around the corner. Yeah, man, you know it. You know it. We'll be out there, and, and uh, we, we'd, uh, we'd love to have you out. All right, guys, that is the Aquinas Falcons football team, your Ironwood League champions from this past season. Join us here on IEMG in our Fall League Champion Show. Coach Brusig, Malachi, JoJo, thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Pat. You're the man.
A big thanks to Coach Brusig and congratulations to the Aquinas Falcons. When we come back here on the League Champion Show, we'll pivot from football to cross country. That's next on the IEMG Fall League Champion Show.